Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to Age of Wonders 4 Let's Play featuring the God King Gurgle of the Growth. This session is the one where we finally kick a war off against an enemy faction, having used this underground passage to discover the lair of Acreon the Endless. As I said last session, the intent of this war is to bring an end to his endlessness, and though I did say I was going to kick this war off right away, chasing after this isolated army over here, it occurred to me between sessions that there's a smarter way to go about this. Now look, just because we're pure evil doesn't mean we're stupid. Just because we've evolved from fungus doesn't mean we're stupid. We are outnumbered here. Not numerically speaking entirely, especially after we eliminate this army over here, but the Nebular Sanctum has defenses. We see its fortifications are up at 60, we know it's a throne city, we know it'll have things like ballista towers or this or that. A countless number of options are uh, available to the enemy just as they're available to us. It would be foolish of us to dive in like this. What we should do instead, in keeping with our barbarian nature, is push out towards some of these mines perhaps, maybe down to this research post, do a bit of pillaging, draw these armies out from the Nebular Sanctum, eliminate them as they're isolated out in the open field, and then push back to the Nebular Sanctum when they won't have any units. And sure, they might have, you know, one or two that they freshly recruited. They might still have their towers and all that, absolutely. But at least they won't have this, you know, two sets of near full stacks. So it would be much wiser for us to look around a little bit, maybe set fire to some of these things and draw these guys out first. To which end, uh, I say we go ahead and move towards the mine up there. How far can these guys move? Yeah, sure, they can both move in tandem because another thing I don't want to do is uh, let our own armies end up isolated because if we you know send one army up there and one army down here and they send both of their armies or all three of their armies to one of them we're screwed so we still have to move in tandem but uh, hopefully we'll be able to draw these guys out and uh, declare our war by finishing off one of their armies I think that would be much better for us anyway that's the underground taken care of let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on at the surface down over here, these guys are still waiting, staying put. And down over here, I do believe we are waiting for uh, Gurgle to come closer so we can eliminate these guys and free up this mana node. Down over here, these guys are done their turn as well, but our scout is still able to scout. Right, so here we're kind of hiding out above ground, waiting for this entity in this general area to uh, leave us alone before we finally pop back underground. Is there anywhere to go? You know what? There are some pickups over here. They're probably worth exploring. There's another pickup over here. No, that's Rainbow Clover. It just looked like a mana pickup. So why don't we go ahead and do that and see if there's anything to see down there? Sure. And then we'll make our way underground again to uh, explore further. I do believe that's our turn. We're currently queuing up the Summon Nymph spell. Can't wait to use that. And uh, it looks like, yeah, Gurgle has returned to Spore Pit. I'm very aware of that. Thank you very much. But that's our turn done. Let's see what the AI gets up to. And uh, let's hope for the best over here. I'm curious, actually if they will be so upset at our trespassing here that they themselves will declare a war. So let's keep our eyes on the business down here. And man, they've actually expanded their territory much more than I'd previously anticipated. This will be interesting. End our turn, see what they do. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's not very good at all. <laughs> uh, we're in a much worse off situation than I previously anticipated. And what's this now? Carissa has captured one of our claimed provinces. Okay. Oh, Ember Keep up over here. They've built around uh, Hot Toady's outpost and, and claimed a bit more over here. That's fine. Not too fussed about that. Oh, but I'm very fussed about this. What the hell? What What is going on over here? Not only do we have a two, three stacks and a five stack, but we've got this four stack here as well. Hot Toady, how do you feel about me still? How, how, how are we doing over here? Are we doing okay? We've got the Declaration of Friendship still. The War Justification Balance is still in my favor. So uh, hopefully they're just pushing after Carissa because this is genuinely terrifying. All right, let's deal with our business up over here first because it will be easier, I think, to do. Push you up. This is a safe battle already. These guys are just going to stay there. There's no point dragging them up here as well. And we have Seeds of Doubt. A tortured-looking entwined thrall and its minions gape at your army. Wordless, the vacant beings shuffle towards you their limbs and features wrapped in grasping vines. Leaves shudder and bark creaks in silent supplication, but they make no otherwise hostile movements. Will you grant them mercy, or will you attack? I think, as before, we should discover how to carefully harvest their vines and allow them to leave afterwards. I think it's in keeping with our uh, overall approach. It's what we've done before, so yes, let's go ahead and do exactly that. Cool. 
well, there was no battle there, so I feel like some time was wasted dragging these guys back, but hey, it is what it is. Let's push up towards the Desecrated Temple. Uh, your two plus two is four, five, six. All right, so that's our full stack right there. Or do I want to send in the War Shaman? Invigorate is very helpful. These guys have what? Conjure Animal, Poison Blast. You know what, actually? You know what, actually? Let's go ahead and send the War Shaman towards the uh, underground lair of Acreon the Endless. I think that'll come in handy. Um, and I can't wait until we unlock teleportation. Teleporters are going to be extremely helpful as our realm grows, but uh, that is 24 turns away at a minimum, so uh, it it'll be a while yet. Go ahead and move up to here. Form these armies up. You can stay put. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next choice here as far as research is concerned. Marcus Prey isn't bad. The target enemy becomes distracted and suffers three sundered defense. Pretty good, actually. Blossom of Life is also extremely powerful. That, that three stacks of regen is huge, but Temple of Fertility allows us to generate more food and draft per population. Let's go with the Blossom of Life over here. It'll take a little bit longer to get to us, so we might not be able to use it in, uh, you know, the, the most upcoming battle, but the battles that'll follow, where we're dealing with uh, the massive armies of Acreon, uh, it'll, it'll probably come in handy. So Blossom of Life, it shall be. Let's take a look at our scout, who is down over here. Have him push towards this mana pickup. Of course, he's just short, so that sucks, because we're going we're gonna to need that mana as we uh, transition to down here for the conversation I've been procrastinating on this entire turn so far and try to figure out how we deal with this here. So low-risk battle, it says, so that's okay. If I don't hit them right now, they'll probably go up just like this army did. We saw them sneak through and use the underground passage to get up here, right? So this is good, actually, because these guys are now away and, and they're not going to bother us down here, hopefully. They might decide to come back down, but that's a conversation for later. Yeah, you know what? Fine. Let's go ahead and attack these guys. And uh, hopefully, with our victory here, we'll draw these guys out. And we end up with a similar situation without actually burning down any of their uh, uh, province improvements. The Lesser Storm Spirit is a little concerning. That charge strike we have to keep an eye out for. What else do they have over here? They've got their spell shields. Okay, fair enough. Stunning flash. They've got their soother over here with the soothing breeze that we have to be extremely, extremely wary of. So these guys will probably be our primary target, or if not them, then whatever we try to hit, we have to eliminate in that turn before the soother is able to heal them up. Just gotta, just gotta keep that in mind. All right, fair enough. Soothers fortunately have less HP than uh, some of their other units, so hopefully they'll be easier to pick off. But that's just something to keep in mind. And over here we have Acreon himself. Oh boy. And uh, Mystic Projection. Very well. Very well. Let's go ahead and use our magic to cast Poison Blades. It's ready. Now is the time to pull the trigger on this. Plus four Blight damage. Minus two physical damage. I think that's perfectly all right. Uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, summon these Thralls and Wild Animals first. Let's pull you guys down over here. Go ahead and trespass, yep. Down here as opposed to up here, because I worry up here they'll be within the radius of the Nebular Sanctum. So trying to keep my distance here. Uh, there's our Entwined Thrall, and time for our Summon Animal as well. Yes, trespass away. What are we looking at here? A Warg. I hmm. was hoping for something a bit more interesting, but I'll take the Warg. And separately, yes, let's go ahead and get our Poison Blades going too. Yeah. Huh, I, I love this. I love this screen. And, and take a look at, like, the uh, the axe head there, by the way, as I hit enchant. You'll see a little bit of magic casting, and boom. I love that it's actually visualized. I think it's a really nice touch. But, uh, yes, excellent stuff. We've got our poison blades, and we're ready to dive in. So, Baba, push in against this army. Low-risk battle, it says. But we're declaring a war, and it's our first one of the campaign. So, of course, as we declare it, we're going to dive into the battlefield ourselves. We have to fight this one manually, right? Low-risk battle. Hopefully, we'll uh, minimize damage taken maximize damage given, and then draw these guys out to uh, finish them off uh, over the very same corpses that will uh, fall here. All right, to the battlefield we go. I'd be lying to you if I didn't say I was at least a little nervous. At least a little. We have to minimize our losses here because these stacks need to maintain their momentum, and it's going to be two turns until we have access to an additional summoned unit, right? And the uh, incoming War Shaman is going to take some time to get here as well. So we got to be very careful over here. Play a little defensively, perhaps. They've split into two uh, separate squads, it feels like, almost. Where is their soother? All the way back there. 
This guy is the uh, charger that we have to be very careful of, right? Of course. And then Acreon is up over here. Very well. All right. What do you have here? Over channel. Okay. Okay, we're all right. We're all right. Let's go ahead and push these guys up in this direction. And then these guys can deal with the situation up there. I think that'll work out nicely for us. I think they have quite a few ranged units, so we'll want to try and use cover whenever possible uh, just to just to keep ourselves safe. What do we have here? Stunning Flash. No, that's also just a melee attack. What about you back there, buddy? Yeah, all right. Let's, let's use cover as we creep up. So we've got a warg over here. Come in and kind of like flank this way while these guys move up this way. Sure. Push you up to there. Let's go. Face the right direction, please. Let's get you. Oh wow, we can get pretty far with these guys. Let's 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 get up to the cover over here, because again, if I need to like cut in this way, I want to be able to do that because I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I also don't want to allow them to uh, regroup either. So, decisions, decisions. Our plague serpent, unfortunately, has been frozen in place by this ice coffin that Acreon has kicked the battle off with. So that's not ideal. How was he able to use magic right on in the first turn there? I guess because he's a defender. Hmm. All right, let's uh, get our Sunderers moving up. Where are my okay, two Sunderers? We've got these guys over here. So let's push you up to here. Not the ideal spot, is it? Oh, no, that'll work out fine. All right, fine. Let's push you up to here. Get them obscured, right? Keep them safe from ranged attacks, as discussed. Uh, we'll get these Sunderers up to here, sure. Again, just making sure they're facing the right direction. So they don't get flanked nice and early. Uh, you can pop up to over here. Let's go. They'll take advantage of the uh, shield wall situation, right? That's all well and good. Buddy, you. What to do with you? If I push you a bit further ahead. Again, they're able to charge in. And it's quite an effective charge as well. Why don't we get you... Let's get you up to here, sure. Taking a bit of a chance. Decent bit of health to play with over here, so let's try it. And Baba. God, it's so tempting to just creep right up. You know what I could try and do here? And it's extremely risky, but what I could try and do is pop a shot up over here and try and bait out that soothing spell nice and early because it's got a cooldown, right? It's going to have, what, a two-turn cooldown? And that would be a waste for them to, uh, to use it here. Hmm. You know what? Sure. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Keep you right up to here and uh, fire away. I'll take it. If they're foolish enough, they'll pop that spell and, and we can take advantage of that cooldown. Cool. All right. Up over here, I think things should be a little bit simpler. We've got our... Um, oh, man. It's so tempting to just push all the way up. I got to resist. I got to resist. Let them come to us. We can use our range capabilities and all that good stuff, right? We have our halberdiers here as well. Uh, no cover for them, it looks like. That's fine. We'll have the shield wall uh, benefits. We've got our dread spider hatchling. Young caustic worm. This also is able to charge in. Pull you up to there. Pull these thunders up to here. Well, these Sunderers... Oh, sorry, that's an Entwined Thrall. This is also an Entwined Thrall. My bad. Every time I see this symbol, I my head automatically goes to uh, uh, Sunderers. My apologies. But these guys, we can come up to here, maybe, and try and flank these guys. Let's try that. Bring the spiders up this way, too. Sure. I believe that's our turn done. Make sure everyone's facing the right direction, more or less. And uh, see what the AI gets up to here. Let's go for it. Defense mode for everybody. And what are you going to do here? Invulnerability, star blades, and yes, we actually managed to bait it out. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. You know what? Very pleased with that, actually. So two turns we have before they're able to cast it again. Let's try and take advantage of that as Acreon rushes up and down over here. We're going to get caught up in melee, but that's all right. It's not too bad. We should be able to chase them down afterwards. What are you up to over here? Blocking our flanking maneuver over here, getting a touch of damage out. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's right. Come closer. Yes, yeah, see, I, I, I made a bit of a mistake over here. I've given them Baba as a target, so they don't have to push up as much as I would have liked for them to push up. But at the same time, we've got these guys in a bad spot, because now we can close the gap to them, and they won't be able to charge in anywhere. I mean, they'll still try, but uh, this works to our benefit. Okay, that's good. Let's take a look at the situation up here first. Can we hit you? We can indeed. Immune to poison. But we can hit you with both of these and uh, get you stuck in melee. So that's to our advantage. We could use... Uh, Vision of victory. Down over here, perhaps. Get these guys a higher likelihood of critting, which is good. Or down over here. Basically a matter of which set I would like to get the advantage here. Over here, we'll get uh, we'll get it for four units. Over here for three. So using just 
numbers, we're going to go ahead and uh, drop Vision of Victory over here. Let's go for it. Higher chance of critting. Unfortunately, every time a spell is cast, these guys get Star Blades, and Star Blades is uh, extra damage output over here. Plus one fire damage, lightning damage, or frost damage per stack. And they've got three stacks already. Is it a max of three? It is indeed, so at least there's that. But uh, every time I cast a spell, I'm actually helping my enemy a little bit. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, rush up over here. Try and get rid of these guys, right? Go for it. They are immune to poison, but that's fine. And these spiders are going to come up this way as well. Go for it. Get them pretty much stuck in place. Maybe they'll try and retreat. We'll get an attack of opportunity or something. And we've actually killed an entity there as well. Good stuff. The halberdiers can move up. Get obscured as well. I'm almost tempted to chase after Acreon here. We could charge in from there and from here. Decent bit of damage output. How much, uh, how much damage do we have over here? 14 and 4 as opposed to 10 and 4. So we should be fighting from range with these uh, entwined thralls. Fair enough. This guy can also get in there. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's uh, let's push you up to here. Get in there. Let's try and drop Acreon. Decent bit of damage there. Got the crit there, so that's good. Let's pull the young Caustic Worm up over here as well. Get that charge strike in. We won't be able to hit him from too many other directions, obviously. This guy will block this path, so these guys will have to focus up there, and I think that's fine. Let's push in. Let's go. Baba might come through and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Acreon. Well, toe-to-toe -to -toe from a distance. But buddy, down over here. Let's go ahead and push up. Yeah, Acreon's in trouble. Good hit. Very good hit. All right. What to do here? Chase you down with these three. Fire from range. 30% is not good enough. If I come up to here, 90% hit chance on Acreon. Might be more worth it. Let's try it. How much damage are we talking here? Yeah, near death. Go for it. Give me the crit. Come on. I'll take it. And he's poisoned too, so a little bit of damage over time waiting to happen there. Let's go ahead and push up here. Stay obscured. Sure. Get some damage done over here. Yeah, good stuff. Primal Strike not doing all that much. Retaliation, unfortunately. But that's all right. Bit of burning. Oh, no. That's not good. It's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal either. Push in from the side over here. We might see a bit of trouble on this side. I'm, I'm really relying on the uh, crits up there. We might see a bit of trouble up there. Uh, all right, over here, our Sunderers can, in fact, Sunder defenses if we creep up a little bit. Get some work done again. Two turns before they're able to cast their Soothing Breeze again, right? So we have to take advantage of these opportunities. And because they've wasted it, uh, they won't be able to cast it on Acreon, which is huge. On that note, though, why don't we finish Acreon off? Why don't we finish Acreon off? Yeah, flank him. Just a bunch of tier 1 Sunderers eliminating the enemy leader. I, lo I love it. I absolutely love it. In we go. And down you go, buddy. Maybe a bit of a waste of the Primal Strike there, but I'll take it, honestly. And hopefully we did some damage to their morale and they'll start fumbling and stuff like that as well. Alright, these Sunderers, let's push you into uh, range here. Hmm. No cover to hide in, per se. I'll take the chance. Sure, move up to there. Throw down to here, sunder the defenses. Beauty. Let's push these guys up to here, and you should be able to retreat this way. Maybe take an attack of opportunity. I could try stunning them, I suppose. I could try stunning them. Hmm. No, let's go in and attack. Got the primal strike, didn't catch fire. Uh, Baba is on fire, though. Let's go ahead and pull you back to uh, here, I think. I come all the way back to here. That drops our hit chance. So let's just pull you back to here. And pop a shot over here. Let's go. Very nice. I ah, just grazed. So not very nice, actually. Truth be told. You wargs, rush up this way. Stay in cover. Stop these guys from charging in too much. Yeah, eat the retaliatory strike as well. That actually hurt quite a bit. And we're burning, so it's not ideal. And these guys, the Entwined Thrall, it's kind of tempting to actually fire from a distance just because it does do slightly more damage. But I want to try and sort of pin these guys in place as best as possible. These guys too. Alright, move up to here. Take a chance. And go ahead and attack over here. 
Now, hopefully they'll just fight here and they won't get their charge in, but I do believe that's our turn done. We seem to have the upper hand. Let's end the uh, turn and see what the AI gets up to. Acreon, the Endless, is moving. <sighs> no, he's not. <laughs> uh, a couple of stuns there. That's not ideal. A couple of hits here. This isn't ideal either. So these guys will probably get eliminated. That's fine. They're a summoned unit. Attack of opportunity here. Or oh, that's a retaliation there. Okay, fair enough. Doing all right. Two retaliatory strikes. That did a lot of work there, so that's good. What about down over here? At least they didn't get to charge, I guess. <laughs> they still got to kill it, unfortunately. So we've lost one unit. Not the end of the world. Potentially going to lose another over here. That's a lot of damage, man. Hot damn. But again, we are able to heal as well. Let's not forget. Ooh, it might not be enough, but we have the option. We have the tools on hand. All right, what to do here? So these guys should, I think, now be able to cast this again. Or are they still on cooldown? All right. I push up over here. Get some work done. Buddy here. And also get some work done. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Lots to think about here. Um. Wow. We, we are actually within charging distance for quite a few of our units. This is good. This is very good. All right. Let's send you up this way. These guys can come up this way. These boys can come up this way. Maybe hit these guys instead. It's tempting to finish that soother off because of the soothing breeze, but I can't hit it from as many angles. I can come in from the side here or from the top there and from the side here. You cannot come around, unfortunately. I could also pop Vision of Victory over here, but I'm trying to save my spells now for uh, healing roots instead on these guys just to try and keep them alive if I feel it's necessary. So, sure. Let's hope for some crits as we uh, charge up over here. Let's go. Come on. I mean, I'll take it. Sunder defenses as well. We can actually finish them off with these guys, with the Sunderers. Or with our young Caustic Worm. 26 damage versus 21. Alright, let's, uh, let's send the Sunderers in this way then. Let's go. Yeah, good stuff. Poison resisted, unfortunately, but let's move in over here as well and finish these guys off. Take an attack of opportunity. That's fine. In we go. And... All right. It's worried for a second there. Are you for real? That's extremely unfortunate. That is extremely unfortunate. All right, Baba, if you fire down here, we might get some damage up there. So let's try this first, just in case. Uh, I could creep up to here. That puts us into melee, though. That's not good. I could creep up to here. Sure. Hmm. Okay, let's move you up to here. And maybe let's fire up here instead. Hurt both of these guys and... Uh, use that to our advantage. 50-50. Can't get any closer. We'll end up in melee. Alright, what's life without risks? Let's try it. Come on, baby. Are you for real? We, <laughs> we shot our own Sunderer. That is... Not what I expected. It's okay. It's okay. Healing Roots time. We're, we're definitely going to need it here now. Pop that. They'll get some regeneration as well, so hopefully it'll keep them alive. They will get focused down, though, so the likelihood of that working out is very low, I'll be honest. Go ahead and flank these guys. So when they try something next turn, they, they should get absolutely destroyed. Or uh, we should be able to finish them off right here and now. If I push up, we'll end up in cover, but uh, this guy might charge and finish this unit off. Which might actually be for the better. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, no, the wargs are going to finish you off. Let's go. Get her done. Good stuff. Good stuff. One more. Yeah, beauty. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Send you in here now. It's a bit safer. Blank these fools. Finish them off. They're not going to be able to retaliate or anything. Improve our morale across the board. And now we can push up over here. A couple of these guys are stunned, unfortunately. We can get some work done. All right. Let's uh, finish you off with the spiders. Come on now. Come on. Beauty. A bit more of a boost to morale. We can pull you down to here. Won't get the kill. What if we pull you down to here? We might. Let's try it. Ah. Hope for the crit here. No such luck. So, our only option then is to use the Halberdiers to finish these guys off. I could leave them alive so a retaliatory strike hits them instead. But it's not like the Halberds can come here otherwise. So, it is what it is. Uh, you, my good friend, should head up this way. Go for it. Yeah, good stuff. A bit more. 
Resisted poison, but they got diseased. Fair enough. And the halberds will finish you off. Let's go. Now, of course, that's a crit. Of, of all the places I could have used a crit, that was not it. <laughs> it was very much not it. But that is our turn done. The enemy is on the back foot. They might start retreating. Oh, they're very close to being taken care of. Um, you're stuck up there. Yeah, that's our turn done. All right. Done pretty good. Dropping enemy morale. They're getting some hits in. We're able to retaliate. Got a crit on that, it looks like. Yeah, excellent. Yikes. Eating a ton of damage here. Good hit there. They're going to fall back. They're going to try and use, I imagine, their uh, soothing. No. All right. Okay. Survival's not on the menu anymore. They realize that their time is up. They're just going to try and cause as much damage as possible instead. All right. Let's get you up to here. Strike from behind. Flank them. Yeah, beauty. Let's get you flanking from up there. Real good stuff. Give me a crit here. I want to finish them off before they get to retaliate, basically. Um, up over here. We can chase. Let's move you up to there. Hit them from the back there. Flank them. Good stuff. And uh, then you... Ah, still can't get down there, eh? Alright, that's fine. That's fine. It's worth a shot. Let's uh, go ahead and pull you up to here. Finish you off. And these units have taken a lot of damage. Healing them back up is going to be not easy. Oh, and now the Caustic Worm can get up over here because the area, the, the zone of control is uh, is gone. All right, good stuff. Let's uh, push you up to here and, and finish these guys off. <laughs> That's just the smarter call there. One hit kill. Let's go. Beauty. The enemy is fleeing the field. Do I wish to claim victory and win the battle immediately? No. No, we're going to finish them off. We're going to consume each and every one of them. There's just the one unit left, right? Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't cost me. <laughs> go ahead and finish you off. Let's go. Going to take a retaliatory strike over here. Or we're just going to murk them. All right, beautiful stuff. There's our first victory against an enemy faction over here. We did quite well. We took a lot of damage here. We did lose a unit. So I'm a little concerned because as they send their stacks over to us now, they'll all be at full strength and that'll of course be scary. So I got to figure out how exactly I want to heal up over here. All right, got to close the screen first before we can make any decisions. I have a few options. I have a few options. One will take a couple of turns because what we could do is we could actually establish an outpost over here. It takes some time for an outpost to actually be built. It takes two turns. Um, and then it'll take some time for them to heal up as well. The other option is to use the underground passage to get up top. But we'll probably just block the passage as opposed to, uh, be able to, to... Oh, actually, these guys can come out. Huh. Pull up here. Try and draw these guys out to fight us up there. Regroup with the, uh, the shaman that's making their way over. Worst case scenario, engage in battle against this, uh, small army. That might actually work out nicely. That might actually work out nicely. And you boys will be able to come up and block the underground passage as well. Which is pretty good. Because, yeah, these units, they're going to die in the next battle for sure. All right. Let's get you up over here. And, uh, Baba, how far can you get, actually, before we block things off? But you can get really far. We can actually engage in this battle if we wanted to. Are we like to lose any units over here? Maybe. Quite possibly, actually. Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? We'll auto-resolve this one, though. Might cost us this Caustic Worm, which makes me a bit nervous. Well, let's try and finish them off. Auto-combat this one, though. And we actually lost the Halberdier. That is a bummer. <laughs> I didn't want to lose a unit that we uh, acquired through special means. It always hurts a little bit extra. I could retry, I could fight this myself and keep them alive, I suppose. Uh, but no, we'll, we'll, we'll accept this loss. It's part of the fun, in my opinion, at least. Let me know what you think in the comments. If, if you think we should have well, like fought that bat battle again, let me know in the comments. Because it's one of the things I, uh, I don't want to say I struggle with, but it's something I, I, I wonder about. Is it better to uh, accept that kind of a situation or go back and replay? Because the game does give us that option, but just because the option is there doesn't mean it's the most fulfilling option or the most... Uh, 
you know, role play option, I suppose. So let me know what you guys think. And again, folks, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. It does make a very big difference in letting me know what people are enjoying on the channel, letting me know what I should do more or less of and how I should go about doing it. So yeah, if you're having a good time, hit the like button, leave a comment. And if you haven't yet subscribed, perhaps consider subscribing as well. Meanwhile, it's time for us to recruit some additional units because we might need them very soon. Uh, again, the Nymph will be available in about two turns' time. Why don't we secure ourselves... Hmm. Another Wild Speaker? We haven't even used them in battle yet. We're just relying on them so much. Despite not having used them yet. Sure, let's get... Uh, let's get a Wild Speaker coming out over here. We've got... Our economy is looking okay. We could actually hurry the recruitment as well and still feel okay about it. My thinking is we can send the Wild Speaker over to join. You know what? Sure. Hurry that recruitment and let's chase after a Plague Serpent as well. You, my good friend, join this army. And uh, let's prepare for Acreon to come flooding out the Underground Passage as soon as we let him. Or alternatively, he'll be forced to look for another way out and we'll be able to push in towards the Nebular Sanctum next turn. Uh, up over here, we've done everything we can, so that's looking all right. Thorn's doing some recruiting. Spore Pit, let's get you recruiting as well, because money's still looking all right. Maybe secure another Berserker up over here. Can't hurry this one. That's fine by me. But what do we have here? Alignment changed to very evil. Now, just as a reminder, because we are Scions of Evil, that means that when we are actually maxed out in terms of evil, our uh, newly recruited units start with an extra rank. So, something to keep in mind uh, when that inevitability actually comes through. Wanted to point that out in case we've forgotten what Scions of Evil actually does. But apart from that, Declaration ended. What is this now? Oh, is this just with regards to us having declared this war? Now, balance is unjustified now, but I'm pretty sure when I declared it, we were justified. We'll see. We'll see how this plays out, and we'll see how our allies actually dive in as well, because they have a couple of stacks in the area. Hopefully, they'll do something. Uh, let's pop you in here, just to make this a full stack. And let's end the turn, I think. Yeah, all right. See what the AI gets up to. This could prove extremely expensive. This could prove extremely expensive. I don't want to lose all these units, obviously. And I also don't want to fall too far back. Just, just in the interest of healing. How are we looking? These guys are pulling back this way. It's good that we are able to heal in uh, friendly territory, so there's that. And, and quite quite massive healing as well, like my goodness. So that's feeling good at least. Keep creeping you up. We do have a road here already. That's as far as we can go still. All right, sure. Keep moving. And I wonder if it's time to uh, pop back down over here. Hopefully they haven't blocked our entrance. It looks like they haven't. So uh, let's go ahead and enter. Do I wait another turn is the question, because we're almost at full health here. Waiting another turn is a waste. It'll just allow the enemy to recruit more units. So let's pop down. Looks like they're still staying at the Nebular Sanctum. Looks like they've got an, a sixth unit over here as well. They're probably going to wait to make these guys into full stacks before chasing after me, which is fine. We could send this army towards this mine or something to burn it down and hope to, to pull these guys out. We can move towards this research post instead, more likely to come through, and we can kick it off sooner. All right, sure. Let's uh, get Baba on the research post. Let's get you pillaging. Go for it. And from up top, let's get this army down next to Baba. At the back over here again. We don't want to be too close to the Nebular Sanctum. That should work out for us. And these guys are still moving closer. As up over here, we're going to move in to deal with the Desecrated Temple. Pop up to here. And we should be able to enter right away. So, let's hang tight. There's a few other orders to deliver first. Let's pick up the mana stash over here. Yeah, nice big bump there, 46. And uh, let's keep pushing towards this corner, because maybe there's a pickup over here, right? These guys are all bonded vassals, so they won't care. Orders required down here. Yeah, coming soon. Spore Pit has produced its blacksmith. So, let's go ahead and choose something new for Spore Pit. Uh, the Academy. We need a research post for this. We're never going to have one of those, are we? There's none nearby, so that's not likely to happen, unless we get extremely, extremely lucky with a Warping Wild. I, I don't know the likelihood. I don't know what the dice rolls are like on that. We could get the Mint going here. It is boosted. Uh, or the Stone Mason to start building a bit more quickly. Warlord's Pavilion needs 15 pop before it gets boosted, so we're going to hold off on that. Separately, we have the Herbalist for more mana generation. Ooh, hmm. Counts as a Conduit. We don't want to replace anything with a Conduit, though. I don't necessarily think so. I don't necessarily think so. 
by which I mean probably not at all. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves the uh, mint, start making even more money. It is boosted, and then we'll maybe chase after the monolith. Oh, it needs to have a conduit, eh? Ah, goddamn. All right, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Uh, otherwise, what do we have here? New Empire Development Skill available. We've got Wild Expansion. Completing a province annexation summons an animal unit under your control, depending on the province. Oh, hello. We have 660 Imperium saved up, so this is definitely the right call to get sooner rather than later. Any province annexation will summon an animal unit under our control. That's a great way to... Uh, Strengthen our, our army, yeah, absolutely. And up over here, all cities in your empire instantly gain plus one population. It's too early to pull the trigger on this. We only have two cities. Why waste this? Let's acquire some more cities and then eventually pull the trigger on this. It costs the same, but the benefit is increased. So uh, the return on investment conversation there is pretty obvious, I think. Forced March. Do I want this right now? It would allow my, um, my reinforcing uh, shaman and stuff to move a little bit further up. Nah, you know what? Let's hold off on that. We're fine. We're fine. Meanwhile, up over here. Let's dive into the Desecrated Temple once more. This time we're going to upset not just Hot Toady, but also Carissa the Red. I think that's because Carissa the Red has claimed that little, uh... Little, uh, province up over there, and that's fine. You know what? I came here first. The structure rightfully belongs to me. And it looks as though that damage has carried over on this Chaos Eater, so I'm glad we stuck around like heroes and, and, and fought for as long as we could. Um, with certain units at least. And it looks as though the uh, Baylor is already stuck to a five turn uh, summoning time frame. We don't have the decision to, you know, interrupt them this time like we did last time. And I just want to address some of the comments that I saw really quickly over here. Uh, but yes, hindsight 2020, if we had in fact delayed the summoning ritual, if we had in fact, uh, you know, had those extra three turns before the Baylor showed up, we very well may have won that battle last session. But again, Hindsight 2020, right? At the time, how could we have known what we would have been up against when we had to make that decision? It wasn't 100% certainty. I was expecting something much worse. So I went with the what felt like the right option, preserving our mana for a future battle. But yeah, I do believe if we had, if we had delayed the summoning ritual for those extra three turns, we would have actually won this battle last time. But hey, you live and learn, right? You live and learn. With that said, even though this is a safe battle, it's a pretty major one, I think. So to the battlefield we go. I'm excited to finally take this Desecrated Temple. I might even invest the Imperium into expanding Thorn so we can acquire this province right away. Uh, but yeah, the, the Chaos Eater has taken damage already from the previous battles. That Demonic Summoning won't happen for another five turns. So we should be in the clear. Let's go ahead and move... Ooh, where? So we've got our Wild Speaker. Kind of stuck in place right now because everyone else is positioning. Uh, our Berserker can... Maybe creep up to here, stay behind this tower. Sure. Let's get Gurgle moving up to here. Maybe behind this uh, pillar or whatever the structure is right now, the support pillar. Uh, let's move our Plague Serpent up to here. Just trying to, you know, flank perhaps. And let's get our Floral Stinger up to here. Try and, like, hold the line with these two maybe. While our Wild Speaker can do what? Can push up to here and summon an animal right here. And I block the line with what have we got? Ooh, hello. Some vampire spider hatchlings. Sounds good. And again, this is obviously randomized. Who summons what? Can I get you to rotate, please? Can I? No? Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's get you up to here. Can't go because we're blocked off. So get up to here then. And conjure an animal up over here. Good enough. And what flavor do we have here? Ooh, hello. Some gore tusks. Again, they're not the most powerful animals by any stretch of the imagination, but they can absolutely tip a battle if it's close. Uh, with all that done, though, let's go ahead and end the turn. Enter defense mode and wait for the uh, AI to come to us. Gonna get shot up a little bit. We'll take some damage, but we're okay. We're right next to friendly territory, so we'll be just fine. Um, let's get you moving up to here, I suppose. It's a little close, but what's the worst that could happen? You can't get too far ahead. Unfortunately, these guys can come up and get some attacks in. Yeah. What about the Berserker? And coming from this other side. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and move you in. And you... Ah, damn it. Can't reach. I'm trying to figure out who I want to take out first. Let's go up over here. Get the uh, their range units stuck in melee, so as they try to retreat, we might get an attack of opportunity, perhaps. 
Good hit there. They resisted the bleeding, unfortunately. Down over here. Nowhere we can really go, unfortunately. We can try and hit up there. But these Berserkers do so much more damage, so let's push up. Hold for some poisoning. Finish them off, maybe. Come on now. That was not bad. That was not bad at all. Holy crap. All right. Uh, Gurgle. Or actually, let's move you up first to finish these guys off. Get you up to there. Pop this shot up over here. Go for it. Beauty. This Floral Stinger should be able to hit from here. So short. Let's go for it. Kind of blocking an access path there, but I think it's fine. Poisonous Spores will cause a lot of damage there. Um... Hmm. Let's hit the Chaos Eater. Try and get rid of that damage output over there, right? Got the poison in there as well, so that's good. Vampire Spider Hatchling's not going to be able to do anything. You're not going to be able to do anything. Let's move you... Let's move you up to here, taking a bit of a chance if uh, we draw aggro. Let's get you up to here, casting your spell up there. Not going to finish this thing off, but we'll cause some damage and... Just wondering... There isn't something else I can do here. Vine Prison? It's a waste of mana, let's be real here. What's the point? What's the point? Let's get you up to there. And let's get you up to here using your spell to maybe finish this guy off. No, that's not going to do enough damage at all. Ah, go for it. Why not? Worst case scenario, we kill one of our own. Of course, we get a graze instead. That's fine. End the turn there. See what the AI does. Eat a bit of damage. But we've got this. Um, if I lose that unit, I'm not too upset because we're going to lose it after the battle anyway. That's perfectly fine. They serve their purpose perfectly. Caused some damage. Died. That's A-OK. -okay. Let's send, uh... The... Hmm. Can I? That's Gurgle. Yes, I can. Alright, so, let's get the Plague Serpent up over here. Flanking. Do a decent bit of work over here, I imagine. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Let's get our... Berserkers. To push up and finish them off. And we go. Beauty. We need more Berserkers. Now, that was a crit, I believe. But uh, we need more Berserkers. <laughs> Just look at the damage output. But yes, up over here, pop this shot. 50% is not good enough. Let's uh, come up to there. And fire from the side there. Flanked. Get the shot in. Get the kill in. It had to be Gurgle. It had to be our God King. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Took, like, no damage, basically. I'll take it. And what do we have here? Scrolls of Terror. The Aftermath. With the cultists gone and their ritual undone, the desecrated temple at last falls silent, and you are free to investigate. The cultists were not praising the deities for whom this desecrated temple was built at all. A malicious-looking scroll sits in the center of the ritual circle, an artifact used to summon beings from a world called Abadoth, bearing illustrations of beings like dire penguins. It seems the cultists were using this scroll to call on this demonic power. The demonic scroll is silent and yet incredibly captivating. So much knowledge rests within. So we've received a fair sum of gold over here, so that's good. We could say the knowledge contained within this fiendish scroll could certainly be of use to us. Instantly finishing research in the Blossom of Life, which is huge for the battle to come, and uh, very fitting for our, our faction's approach, I think. Or we could use the scroll to summon and control a unit of true evil origin, gaining us a dire penguin unit. I, I don't think that's necessary. Um... We're okay without more, uh... We're okay without a dire penguin. Uh, or we could burn the scroll, clean, cleansing the desecrated temple. That's not in keeping with any of the decisions we've made thus far. I think the most in keeping is, uh, this one. The knowledge contained within this fiendish scroll could certainly be of use to us. Yeah, let's go for it. Secure Blossom of Life. Let's go ahead and pick our, uh, next research. And chase after Animate Flora. Animate Flora is big. Target Flora Obstacle transforms into a flora stinger unit under our control uh, you can pop it pretty much anywhere those poisonous spores are excellent the melee strike isn't bad either uh, and it'll take two turns to get here now of course it's only useful in certain circumstances on certain battlefields but uh, compared to these other two especially I, I think this is the way to go animate flora it shall be two turns it shall take and I don't like I don't like that hot toady is uh, making landfall here that makes me extremely uncomfortable down over here, we're fine. We're trying to bait these guys out, right? So hang tight. And Summon Nymph is available to us now as well. I'm thinking, I'm thinking... You know what? Why wait? Why wait? Let's go ahead and Summon the Nymph down over here again, keeping our distance. And let's also start queuing up some of these other spells, as I should have done uh, previously. 
let's chase after let's chase after some of these entwined thralls because the nymph will take so much longer to actually become available to us so let's do that and uh the nymph shall stay put we can't join these armies so stay put over here and end the turn i guess we might bait these guys out we might not i'm hoping that they come out and uh, we see a massive battle over here at the same time i wouldn't mind these guys arriving uh by our side first but hey we'll see how the ai plays it end the turn there all right so now i think we have two full stacks on the enemy side there we got to make sure that they aren't able to just keep recruiting units which might be what they're trying to do far from ideal anyway closer to magic build improvement quest asking us to build three conduits oh man a distinguished envoy of the growth council appears before you after the required formalities, he states his business. Your Eminence, you know us growth as a proud and illustrious people. We seek to elevate ourselves from the worldly muck of this realm. The envoy smirks. We wish to better understand the ways of magic. Over time, we even might augment our kin with the powerful flows of the Astral Sea. If you support our quest to grow closer to the magic currents, we kindly request you construct more conduits. It's not really an option present to us. Everywhere where we'd grow a, or where we'd build a conduit, we've built a research post instead. We don't have access to them for Thorn. We don't have access to them for uh, Spore Pit. So I don't think I can entertain their request. Magic doesn't suit you simple growth, but farming does. Oh, you know what, actually? I didn't even notice this as an option. However, it's much more in keeping, I think, with our faction. We declined the quest. All cities of the growth lose 17 city stability for six turns. That's no joke. All free cities of the growth which is just the one, gains negative 150 relations for 18 turns. Also no joke, but we're fine. They're already our bonded vassals, so we should be okay. But Spore Pit receives a ton of food, growing in population, giving us access to another unit as well, right? Because of our empire uh, uh, upgrades. And then Gurgle receives 179 food at Thorn, which makes our pop growth significantly, significantly faster too. Alternatively, I can say I decide what to build on my lands. So no penalties there, whereas this option does come with some penalties. I'll, I'll take those hits. I'll take those hits and uh, take the food, because that's very much in keeping with our faction. Sure. Now, before we actually expand, I want to double-check to make sure we have secured wild expansion. We have indeed. wanted to make sure we actually had that before I uh, went and expanded and didn't take advantage of our options. But Spore Pit, which way should we grow? We've got uh, quarries over here that'll generate more mana thanks to the crawler's nest. We have a quarry up over here as well. This here is a hut. Got some forests next to it, which does have some benefits, I suppose. Not that much. Maybe we should expand down here. I mean, none of these are amazing provinces, truth be told. None of these are amazing provinces. Um, just double-checking over here. We could also chase after the fishery. You know, a new form of food, I suppose. I don't necessarily see the rush to do that. Apart from just adding to our province count. Pushing down this way, we can't secure this, it's been taken already. We might be able to push down this way. Is there something down here? Let's let's take a look. Let's send you up to this watchtower and take a peek. Now there's the Altar of Elements, of course, which counts as a mine, generates a fair bit of gold, and reduces the upkeep cost of magic origin units in this city domain, also adding a phoenix to our rally of lieges. Okay, fair enough. It's not amazing, but it's something. We have a mana node here and an underground passage as well. Maybe we push down that way. All right, you know what? I think the decision is made. Let's uh, expand in this direction then. Build a quarry over here. Generate more mana as a result as well. That didn't look right. Oh, that's why. Holy crap. Excuse me? <laughs> a whole ice spider matriarch? I was not expecting a tier four unit to come out of that empire development. This is big. This is very big. Hell yeah, all right. Um, how quickly can I get you to join the front? Two turns to get up to here. Five turns to get all the way up to there. Jeez, all right. Well, I mean, hey, make your way over, I suppose. As fast as you can. I doubt there's a connection from the uh, underground passage here, right? Because this is all the way here, very far away. It's closer to Slam Pit than it is to uh, Acreon's realm. So we'll, we'll leave that be. Meanwhile, our... Uh, shamans and stuff here they're making their way over to the underground passage as well let's go unfortunately our allies from Nissan don't seem interested in getting involved wonder what that's about fair enough and uh, separately up over here 
this army is able to make some moves too. What are you doing? Are you pulling back now? You were just exploring, you hit the watchtower, and now you're pulling back? Because that's all right. I understand that kind of curiosity, I suppose. But let's get uh, Gurgle moving towards the front as well with his entire stack. Let's go. Decent stack there. This guy's coming up. Spore Pit, what are you up to? Recruiting a Berserker. One turn till done. And a Plague Serpent. Man, we really need those teleporters. <laughs> 22 turns. God damn. All right. Down over here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and send our Hound up just to scout. Just to see what's going on. Uh, let's push you up to this mine. We're setting it up for failure. If it gets swarmed, it'll get killed. But uh, I think it's worth exploring. Getting an eye on what's going on over here as well. The two six stacks, as predicted. Let's push you... Hmm. You know what? No. Go ahead and pillage. Try and draw these guys out that way. Or this way, whichever way they want to go. Draw them out and then hit them wherever they go. And if they don't do it by the time Gurgle actually arrives, we'll push in with a siege. Because we, we can't allow them to build, you know, three full stacks over here. Acreon is going to return soon as well, if he hasn't already. I think he'll return next turn. So we'll have to contend with him, and that'll be another army that's already started, right? Uh, it's so tempting to go in for the siege right now, but we can't, we can't prevent that. We can't prevent that right now, so it is what it is. Merge these guys, and I believe end the turn. You're done yours. Carissa has returned. But yeah, that's us. Let's see what the AI gets up to. Ah, here we go. Oh no, here we go. I was not expecting another full stack. Oh, this could go horribly wrong. This could go horribly wrong. This is a very high risk battle. They've got a ton of soothers here. That'll keep these guys all topped up and, and healthy. A bunch of spellbreakers as well. A couple of mystic projections. Acreon himself. We could take him on easy enough, but what have we got? We've got we've got some healing spells. We've got a pair of healing spells. We have no healing units. The nymph might be able to. Well, she she's got her revitalize right, which I can't hover over right now. But she's got revitalize, so there is some healing there, and there's seduce as well. We might be able to seduce. Maybe one of their soothers or something to help keep us alive a bit longer. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. And we're the defenders. Uh, we can't retreat or anything over here. Even if we lose this. Even if we lose this, Gurgle is coming through. If we cause enough damage here, we might, uh, we might come out on top. Wow. All right. Hey, you know what? Nothing else we can do. To the battlefield we go. This is going to be absolutely intense. This is going to be absolutely intense. We have to play extremely defensively. We have to be very picky about who we single out to try and kill in terms of how much HP they have, you know, uh, who we're able to eliminate within a turn so the Soothers can't rescue them. Uh, if we take a look at our spells, it'll take a turn for us to have access to them, but we have healing roots. We're familiar with that. But Blossom of Life is uh, kind of the bigger one. Friendly units in a 2-hex radius gain 3 regeneration. So we really have to stay close um, to, to, to maximize the benefit of that. And Vine Prison might come in handy as well. Just pinning some of these guys in place. Maybe immobilizing them or otherwise distracting them. Honestly, I would take either. Uh, I would take either. <laughs> I would take either. Uh, they've got... Oh god, so two of the Soothers are up over here, right? They've got their Spell Shield up there. An Arcane Guard. The Arcanist. Two, two Arcanists. Okay, fair enough. But that's... That's the bulk of their soothers. I wonder if I focus down here first with, like, these guys. Oh, that's actually all I have. Yeah, if I, if I push down here first and try to eliminate some things here before uh, those soothers are able to come through and, and start healing. There is a soother here as well, so got to be careful about that. But again, Soothing Breeze uh, heals two units, right? Target friendly unit and another within two hexes. So, uh... I mean, there's two ways to look at it. Either we eliminate a unit, making sure that uh, they can't be healed, or we hurt more than two units, making sure only two can be healed, leaving one to be picked off. But, again, they have three soothers overall, so that strategy will only last so long. All right, you know what? Lots to think about. Lots to assess. 
lots to kill. It'll have to wait until next time. Because folks, I can't resist a good cliffhanger. This battle is immense. It could really go either way. It is very high risk. Um, but uh, I think we have a chance. We have a chance. If we use our magic appropriately, at the right time, at the right place, with our healing, we should be able to overcome this massive threat. And again, even if we don't, Baba will escape, return eventually, or so I hope, and uh, Gurgle is on his way as well. But folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy the occasional cliffhanger. I think it adds a bit of spice to a Let's Play, but hey, love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, of course. But we'll see how this plays out next time. If you had a good time, folks, please don't hesitate to hit the like button and leave a comment down below as well. Uh, also, if you haven't yet subscribed and you haven't done so because you weren't sure if this series would continue, well, I can assure you it is continuing. We're going to play this to its conclusion because I'm having such a blast with this game, and you'll see much more Age of Wonders 4 on the channel afterwards as well, so feel free to subscribe. With that said, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.